when I come up under here, I'm, I'm bound up. Yeah. Oh, I can't get what I want. Look at my switch my feet. You see what I'm saying? So let's just go. Oh, yes. Go to like those X? Yeah. Well, like a crisscross apple sauce. Okay. You know? And how is your foot hooking and lifting then? Well, it is. It's only on top. I uh, as I fall and his pressure comes, it just, it just goes. It trips. It just trips like a little bit. Yeah. So like I'm up under here, I'm, I'm bound up. Yeah. Oh, I can't get what I want. Look at my switch my feet. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Yes. Put a real sharp angle. All right, we're uh, we're playing the butterfly guard. Today we're gonna talk about feet and the hips, like some things to do with the feet and the hips. All right. So what am I supposed to be doing with my feet? I want you to think about um, a couple of different things. Number one, I want you to consider that your feet are grips also. Okay. So just because you're like. It doesn't have to be this to be a grip. You know what I mean? This is a grip too. This is a grip too. That's a grip. You know, that's a grip. So when I tell you guys that whoever wins the first grip, uh, grips is the first offensive player, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. When we approach this game here, she's trying to, she doesn't want to get up and give me any uh, potential for leg locking opportunity or people to play their open guard. She wants to pass low. She wants to pass tight. So as she comes in and she starts to keep her head down, look how I move my butt back to match her with my head and so that I can have a good position to win the first grips from, right? If I'm trying to think about winning grips, I don't start in here. Like the, the, that's already been lost. I'm not in the range to win. So like we slap, bump, and she starts to approach. Look, I move my butt back so I can be low so I can play for the inside space here. You guys see my elbows, huh? Here, play me. And I've already started to steal grips from her. You see the feet on the knees, keep playing. Get under me with your head. You guys understand what I'm looking to do? So I'm using my feet, my hands, and my head positioning as a way to work myself into my cocoon or to work myself underneath the guard or to work into my leg locks, whatever. So what I want us to do is we're going to slap, bump. She's going to approach like she's going to pass. My first play is like, yeah, so she, see how she goes head to head? That's smart. If, we, if I stay here, she's going to go underneath me. But if I move my butt back, I can be lower than her. And now I can start to play. Now start to pass. 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 I mean, you don't have to do the darts or whatever, but just whatever is available is available. I just want us to run kind of a live opening grips drill. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, so same drill. I'm going to add a new wrinkle to it for the top guy and the bottom guy. Okay, so play the same drill. I don't want to sit here. It's like, oh, Steven's a tough guy. He wants to pass me like this. <laughs> Off of me, dude. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and let you smash me on the floor. Right? Being able to check the guy this way is a huge part of the butterfly guard. If you're not checking him here, and when he pushes back, checking him here, then you're screwing up for sure. You're screwing up your butterfly guard. Just little pushes this way. When I feel him push back, when I feel him lean on that, resist that. Not sit up, resist it. Yeah. Yes. Look at all these open spaces I got here. Sweeps. Game, whatever I want. Theoretically. So, look out. Did you see how I took the top of the grips right away? Understand? It doesn't have to be a triangle, but it's going to be something. A lot of times, Jen, honestly, most of the time, it's if I push him, they either fall over or they run back too hard and they get hit into some guillotine type stuff. Or I feel like, like say it's Jerry or uh, 
Hugo or somebody like that. I'm like, man, I am tired of this garbage right here. I don't want nothing to do with this. That's scary impression. You told my ankles to stay. Scary. Okay. Huh? No, I can run. He's not trying to fight. He's not. If, if this is what he's doing, this is not a fight. Like, we're not in a fight. I don't have to play guard. I don't have to fight him at all. Let's go to the house. Like, that's not a fight. I mean, the butterfly guard is dope and everything, and the open guard is awesome, but it's not real unless he wants to pass. Those things are, this, this is not a real thing unless you want to pass my guard. Like, if you just decided to stand up, I don't have a guard. I don't need one. You guys understand what I'm saying? So, if he wants to pass, though, that's a different thing altogether. Like, we can start to pull him into some game now. Or, play, play. Staying on the inside all the time. And there's my underhook. <laughs> Starting to make some moves on him. Okay, so add the push and pull. One, two, not just this, but look how I move my hip out of the way. You don't even come with me this time. A little push. You see, I drop him right there. If he moves his knees forward, he can regain his balance. It doesn't mean he gets his head back, but he can regain his balance. That's fine. Another reason to put your feet in the hips when you move forward. Or those are the knees, I guess. Okay, you guys got it? Add the technical stand up in. This is going to force the top guy to pass. If he starts passing standing or he puts a leg up, then we get underneath him. Right? He, we're not playing butterfly guard anymore. So he's not going to pass that way because that's not the drill we're doing. He's gonna try to pass low. But just know if he picks that foot up and starts to pass, or he wants to stand and pass, fine. Different, different answer, because that's a different problem. Everybody understand? Okay, questions? Ready, one, two, three. Start to win grips, or he starts to win. Apollo, no, no, this is perfect. Do you see what he wanted to do? He wanted to reach for an underhook right there. This is great news. When I feel him reach for an underhook, the first play is not to reach up and grab. His head's in my way, you see? Like he's blocking me from getting toward, closer to him with, my, with his head. When I feel the underhook and him coming forward, I'm going to close my elbow. So look how I hold this, this way. And my feet immediately go to the hips and I stretch him out as long as possible. Right? If it's very slippery, maybe he pulls back. And I come up and start looking to hit him with that Hadouken like that. All right. But if I'm in here and I feel perfect, look. You see how my elbow closes then? Closes down like this? Bang. Same foot. And I stretch him. If I feel him come with, look, he can't bring his hips, you see? Makes him long. If I feel that he's not going to be able to free this grip, I got a couple of choices and it's all going to... Uh, depend on what happens on this side here. As I go back, I'm not going to my flat back. I'm going to this hip. Yes. Go ahead, base. Perfect. One, the knee comes in, and then I'm going to fire my hips at his nose. Whack. Right there. And now the knees come back to my face, mm -hmm. and now I start thinking about locking up the triangle. Don't lock it up up there. It's too far away. I'm going to miss it. Go back. You guys see it? I'm on my hip. I'm based out here. This leg is mobile. It's ready to go. Hip goes to him, and I pull him back to start working on locking the triangle. Yeah. Alternatively, right here, as I go back, if I feel him close that space or put his hand on my foot to react to the triangle, then the knee whips over and I lay on my side. Here. But you see, it's not, it's not a flexibility thing. I'm not whipping my foot over. I'm bringing my knee, look at, I'm on my side. And my foot just naturally falls right in front of his face. Like, it's just going to go there, and I'm going to curl it. I'm on my side. Now he'll react one way or the other. He's either going to try to roll, and then we'll roll with him, rewind. Or maybe he tries to posture up. And turn back in, in which case you can either 
Go back just a little bit. If you catch him early, you can start to hook that foot and stretch him out, hook under his arm. Or if he starts to turn in heavy, you can start to switch off to your triangle or even your arm lock right there. He wants it back this way, cool. It's this way, this is the way he likes it. That's fine. Bring him home. Start working on your own plot again. You guys understand it? Ready? One, two, three. So as he starts to reach for this ball, right there, as I stretch him out, my foot stays in the hip. Look, I'm not going backwards. I'm opening myself over here. It's like I'm hanging. It, look, it forces him to base. He has to base right there. If I pull back here, he doesn't have to base. But by falling this way, I'm more mobile. You feel what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. You got to base. Now, that's right, because I'm going to ice you if you don't base. That's right. Right? Look, when I go here, my foot stays in the hip. If I go to triangle him, like he's going to pull back for sure, right? That's it. If I go to triangle him right here, I'm, you feel like there's 0% mm -hmm. yeah. chance of that. Come back. So as I fall onto my hip and he goes to pull back, I shoot my hips to him with my foot still in the hip. This gives me something to stand on here. You feel what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Instead of trying to grab him and pull him in. I fall off here and I throw my hip at him. Foot still in the hip. He's going to have gained control of his arm back by now and he's going to be trying to rip out of this thing. Bring him home. That's when I lock him up and bring him home. You guys see that? Because you're not, dude, real, real tall, you're not going to be able to hold this for very long in no gi. Right? But it doesn't mean that you can't hold it long enough. You can hold it long enough. You just can't hold it for long. Okay? So reach up there with your foot in the hip. So come on. As I go, this is crucial. I'm not doing this one anymore. This is not the same. This is for when I'm under him. Right here. Right? This is for stretching him out. Here. Right? He decides he wants to turn his head away and relieve the pressure on that straight arm with his head in the mouth. With that on the plot. Now he wants to posture up. Cool. Hit him with that triangle. Bring him on. You guys understand? Keep him stretched out. So let's do, uh, let me have Steven now. Okay, so something to focus on with that triangle. Now we're playing this position, and I get the grips. Even if I just can stop the grips with the hands, that's fine. And I'm starting to get feet to the knees. When he feels this kind of stuff, a lot of times they're going to start to stand. Start to stand. And I feel him start to stand. I'm trying to go under him deeper now. So keep playing me. I'm trying to go under him deep. Keep, keep playing. Keep playing. I'm trying to go apart. Look at this. He reacts by standing with my feet against his hips. See, I got the grip I wanted. His feet are, uh, his, he's standing against feet in the hips. When I feel him pressure in, I bend my knees and I lift him straight up. So if I feel him pull away, cool. Same play. If I feel him counter with weight against my hips, then I bend my knees and then I can lift him straight up. Start to extend them, okay? So the feet go in the hips. He starts to put pressure in. I don't push him here. I bring my knees all the way to my face so that I can now lift him straight up easily. From here, you can make a lot of choices. You can turn him for the arm lock. You can, my preference is to just hit this overhead sweep and go mount because it's the most reliable. So I just turn him and turn him that way over to the mount. But there's a lot of cool submissions there too. <laughs> Helicopter armbar. Yeah, the helicopter armbar. We're not going to do that. We're going to practice this week. But the helicopter armbar is there for sure. And I do that in kids' class all the time. I do it in adult class sometimes. But this is way more fun to do to adults, just to flip them over your head. So I'm playing in here. He starts to start to gain some advantage. I end up with something like this. Keep playing. Keep playing. Start staying. That's it. That's what I'm looking for. 
straight up. Feet are in the hips. I got some kind of, it doesn't even have to be this necessarily. It could be just this sometimes. Sometimes it's this. Just some kind of one arm control or some, I don't even care about the arms necessarily, to be honest with you. I just want him to feel like coming forward is the right thing to do, and that's enough. Right. So as he comes foot forward, boom. He's rolling right over and cracking. Do it for the gram. All right, ready? One, two, three. Not this. You feel there's no space. Yeah. Not this. There's no space. It's yeah. Yeah. here. Yeah. 